Gone is the D6N from Caterpillar's Dozer lineup, and in its place, the new D5. It's a heavier, more productive machine with an all-new cab and integrated technology. Hey everyone, welcome in. I'm Wayne Grayson, the online editor of Equipment World, where each week we bring you new videos on the latest in construction equipment, work trucks, and pickup trucks. On this video, we've got all the new details on Caterpillar's new D5 Dozer. My colleague Tom Jackson had a chance to speak with Sam Meeker, Caterpillar's product expert on these new D5 Dozers. So let's flip it over to Tom for all the information you need to know on the new D5. And it's Tom Jackson here with Equipment World Magazine. I'm here in Cary, North Carolina today at Caterpillar's Building Construction Products Division. I'm talking to Sam Meeker. He is our resident dozer expert, and he's just been showing us some of the new D5 dozers that Caterpillar has just come out with. And uh, I want you to tell us a little bit more about these dozers, Sam. I noticed two different sizes, two different weights, two two different blades. Kind of set up what, what the, the difference is between these two dozers and what's new about it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming out to see us, Tom. The D5 uh, replaces the D6N, mm -hmm. and so uh, we talked a little bit about our new nomenclature strategy from the D1 to the D11, and yeah. we're coming out with that over the next couple of uh, years, you'll start to see, but we brought the D6 and D6XE last year, yeah. and so uh, the D11 came as well too, and the next model in the lineup is what we're launching today here, and that's the D5. Okay. So uh, replacing the D6N, uh, it, it gives us about four more horsepower than the D6N mm -hmm. and the D5 also gives us a little bit more weight so the XL is kind of that 37 38,000 pound machine uh, yeah. the LGP uh, with the mm -hmm. LG with the wide tracks on it uh, yeah. up to 42,000 pounds she gained about 1400 pounds or 1800 pounds this year okay. so um, uh, getting us uh, really that that extra weight and that extra horsepower in there gives us about four and a half percent more drawbar pull and about two and a half percent more productivity compared to the previous D6N new to this uh, D5 size of dozer we've changed the uh, kind of the way the D cell pedal works just a little bit okay. and uh, what we're doing is we're, we're trying to make it operate a little bit like a, the D6 XE that everybody loves that electric drive dozer so okay. when you modulate your D cell pedal now it will slow the tractor down mm -hmm. um, all the way to a stop you can take that D cell pedal all the way down and it'll it'll pull that tractor all the way down to a stop again just exactly like that D6 XE does okay. um, when you're doing slope work uh, working on a hill um, the tractor has descent speed control okay. where it will uh, modulate the brakes as it needs to to control that speed uh, if you're going downhill even at a low idle or using the diesel pedal and, and lowering the idle of the tractor. Um, it will also uh, hold if you're on a hill and you throw it in neutral. It'll uh, very nicely and smoothly lock the, lock the brakes up and hold that tractor for you while you're on a hill. Okay. So uh, we've done some really neat work in terms of the powertrain here to, to help it do that. Steering system as well too. We've upped the uh, the steering capacity and, and power okay. in the steering system. Okay. So when you uh, when you pull that into a, a turn and, and touch that diesel pedal, it'll downshift to first for you and get you to a, a as close as we can to a lock track pivot turn. Um, it takes that okay. inside track to near zero speed. So very maneuverable and, uh, and lots of power in a turn on this new D5 dozer. Okay, I noticed too your, your C-frame has been kind of cleaned up. There's not a lot of hoses, not a lot of hardware between the frame and the, uh, the, the, uh, the body of the machine? Yeah, so we, we've done a lot of work on the C-frame here, cleaning oh. things up, um, raised up the front uh, the front connection point for the lift cylinder there, flipped okay. that cylinder over and lifted that all up to give okay. us a little bit more room to clean out that mud and material that gets stuck in there on top of that C-frame okay. and around those hoses. So uh, giving the guys a lot cleaner C-frame uh, and, and also even a lot cleaner roller frame as well too, making okay. it easier for them to clean it off and get that mud out of there. You know, we all hate to have uh, sticky mud in around those hoses and, you know, sure. up north, if it happens to freeze, you can be pretty hard on your hydraulic hoses and your fittings there. So we yeah. just wanted to clean that whole area up in terms of the hydraulic lines and even the electric lines. Uh, the new uh, cat grade with 3D system and the new slope assist system, yeah. all those sensors are, you know, basically run with cabling and wiring. And right. so we've cleaned that wiring up significantly. We've got larger wires, more rugged, more durable connectors, uh, improving the durability of that whole electronic system up here on the blade and, and to those sensors. Okay, but you also have like the, the D6 cab or the D6 cab size and you've improved the visibility up there. Talk a little bit about what you did with that and why. Yeah, exactly. So the so the next gen dozer, uh, we call it, you know, the next gen dozer family is more than just the D6 and the D6XE, but it's also the D5 now. Yeah. Uh, and so it's got the exact same cab that we have on that D6, which uh, on, a, on a D6N platform, that new next gen cab is a huge improvement. Uh, larger doors, much more volume in the cab, better airflow all the way around. 
visibility all around. I mean, your, your doors are wider. Uh, you've got quite a bit more glass on there. Of course, you can see off to the sides really well. Uh, we've taken those ROPS posts and integrated them into the dozer cab. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've cleaned up the front end so you've got excellent dozer down the front. Also drop that front nose down just a little bit too to get a little better visibility straight down off the front of the dozer there. Yeah. Um, you know, better airflow, uh, the highest cab pressurization we've had in any cab. You know, cab air filters, uh, very accessible on the back corner there, and, uh, and just a super comfortable cab to be in. Okay, and I noticed you've got grab bars all the way around the front of the cab too. Is that the... Uh for window washing, uh, maintenance, <laughs> what, what you bet. Yeah, about? safety yeah. is really important on yeah. this size of dozer. Uh, yeah. You know, customers are going to get up and down on this machine all day long. Yeah. Um, you know, especially on this D5 size. So uh, we put that halo grab iron all the way okay. around that cab. Yeah. Uh, you know, just to make wherever you put your hand up on the top there, you're going to have a good solid hold. Um, steps and handles all the way around on there, and we even include a ladder on the back of every tractor. So okay. it's easier to get up on the back, clean that back window off, fuel the tractor up, and, uh, and just kind of do your, your regular daily maintenance and walk around a lot faster than you did before. Okay, so you're shoehorning a D6 into a D si D5 size dozer, basically, is that what you're <laughs> kind doing? Kind of, kind of. Okay. We're bringing that up into there, and that's that's actually one of the things when we talk about the SU dozer over here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've, we've got a, a brand new design on this SU dozer, um, and uh, it looks like a little miniature D6. So the SU dozer blade, uh, we've always had an SU on a D6 end, yeah. uh, but we've done some work to redesign this SU into yeah. uh, what we like to call a proper SU dozer. And, okay. and by that, we've got the L-shaped push arms on here, um, you know, heavy duty cylinders, nice big old tilt cylinder here to get us some good power and good capacity in there. And then these vertical lift cylinders that uh, that help us get that weight a little bit more towards the front, okay. increase that penetration and pry out force on this dozer, and and just get that balance where it needs to be for a uh, for an SU dozer. So we, we feel like this is going to be a really good uh, really good tractor to go into some of those um, you know light land clearing applications, uh, roustabout you know oil field services, mm -hmm. um, land improvement contractors, the guys out in Kansas building terraces yeah. and and doing waterways and things like that. We feel like this is going to be a great tractor for a lot of those. Uh, you know, small D6 size of applications that are out there. Okay. And say, uh, you know, uh, an operator comes and he's been used to a previous generation of, of dozer. He hops in this thing for the first time, drives it for an hour. What does he come away thinking? What is he, what is his impression? What is he going to think he can do with this dozer that he couldn't do uh, or do better with this dozer that he couldn't do with the previous generation? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, I, the one thing that we, we try to strive for with cat dozers, we, we have a long legacy, right, of, of dozers and operators, and we like to strive for a bit of commonality in there. We, okay. We'd like for a guy to be able to jump out of a D6H or a D6R uh, mm -hmm. or even a D6T and jump into this machine and, and feel like the blade controls like he expects it, you know, the, the powertrain controls like he expects it, right? Mm -hmm. You know, of course, improvements in things like visibility and operator comfort and, and whatnot, but we just feel like that comfort and that, um, you know, that, that friendliness that he's kind of been been used to in his old cat dozer is going to come through on this new D5 uh, with the SU blade or with the VPAT blade as well. These new dozers, we feel like we're going to get in, in heavy dozing applications, we're going to get two to three percent more productivity. Okay. Um, you know, light to medium dozing, we're going to be pretty similar to where we were before. Uh, finish grading, again, pretty similar. Uh, the D6N has uh, always been the, the world's best finish grader. Mm -hmm. um, fantastic platform, awesome hydraulics, uh, electronics are, are you know best best in class. Mm -hmm. And so we feel like we, we absolutely will continue to retain that crown uh, as the best finish grader. Okay, and uh, I know both these machines are, are GPS enabled, but I don't see any mass, I don't see any cords, I don't see uh, all the, the, the hardware that used to attend to uh, GPS machines. Where did it all go? Yeah, that's right. We've learned over the years that integrating that in uh, is super important to customers. Um, protecting that hardware, those GPS antennas, the cabling associated with it, even the sensors are all built into these tractors mm -hmm. so that uh, all of your components are much better protected than they used to be. So yeah. the new system, uh, the new uh, 3D, cat grade with 3D system, mm -hmm. uh, utilizes IMU sensors on the mm -hmm. back of the blade. Those are inertial yeah. measurement units. And we've got three of them on a VPAT dozer like this one. We've got one on the back of the blade. Okay. We have one in the C-frame. Okay. And then we also have one in the belly of the tractor. Okay. And so those three sensors we put on at the factory on every dozer. Uh -huh. We use those sensors for slope assist, our 2D grade control system. Mm -hmm. We use those sensors for our stable blade system uh, with, with just manual control helping you to be smoother. And then of course we also use those sensors for our cat grade with 3D system okay. as well. 
Um, we've got some other new technology on this dozer in addition to the 3D grade control. Uh, we've also got our blade load monitor okay. on here. So that gives the operator a visual indication of the blade load mm -hmm. uh, inside the cab. So he can see where his blade load is in relation to optimum. There's a green, yellow, red indicator okay. on the dash. So it's really interactive with the operator and helps him, helps him to get that maximum blade load and, and keep that as well too without getting track slip. Okay, and how so, are you measuring it? How do you figure out what, what the load on the blade is? What's yeah, so we, we use you know, several, sensor, several sensors around the dozer. Uh, we're using the sensors in the powertrain, of course the engine load, yep. and then of course the GPS so we can tell how fast the tractor is going. Okay. Uh, so all of those come together to kind of give us what is the load compared to optimum, how, uh, how is slip you know, involved in that as well too, and kind of help to, to get that operator that, that best reading for what the maximum load is and how close they are to that. Okay, and you've also got uh, some traction management tools going on here, and, and, and in particular you're trying, or you are measuring track slip to uh, prevent that from cutting down on, on people's productivity. How, how does that work? Yeah, absolutely, and so this is a, a system, again, uh, works with that cat grade with three system, but we cat grade, cat yeah. grade with 3D system. Uh, okay. We call it traction control. And uh, the way traction control works is, again, it uses a lot of those sensors in the powertrain, okay. uh, and it also uses those highly accurate GPS receivers that mm -hmm. come with CatGrade 3D, yeah. and it's measuring the, the machine movement, and then also, of course, with the transmission and the powertrain, we can measure the load on the engine and how fast the tracks are trying to move. And so, you know, those two working together, we will determine if that tractor is getting into a slip condition. And if it is, we'll back the, back the powertrain torque off just a little bit to give that operator a chance to kind of recover that load and continue that push without breaking traction. Uh, we've, we found over the years that uh, it, it's really detrimental to break traction. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever you break traction, of course, then you lose all your load and you gotta, you gotta kind of start all over from the beginning. So by giving that operator a chance to manage that traction and, uh, and, and keep that load, it helps them to be more productive. Okay. So in, in fact, on the D6 size of dozer, we've done a little internal testing and we found that it increases the productivity by about 5% when you're in heavy dozing situations. So after Tom spoke with Sam, Sam actually took me up into the uh, cab of the new D5 and he showed me through all of the awesome features that you can find inside that big new 10 inch touchscreen display. Let's take a look. So the next gen dozer cab has a lot of new features in it. Uh, one of the most visible ones in here is our new monitor. This is our 10 inch color touchscreen monitor and so it gives the operator a lot of information in a small amount of area here. You notice while we're going forward, we do have good visibility to the backup camera. Uh, when we hit it in reverse, it pops that backup camera into a full screen view so you can get a better, uh, uh, better visibility around behind you there. Slope indicate tells us where the dozer is on a slope. Here's that blade load monitor if we were dozing. This blade load monitor would be uh, tickling its way up and down as we load that blade up so we can, again, see what that blade is and uh, try to, uh, to kind of keep that in that maximum productivity zone. So pretty uh, simple features that we can get into here, slope assist. This is our 2D slope system. Uh, you know, again, works very well in terms of uh, a simple grading, uh, making, uh, making flat passes either on a flat or on a slope. Uh, there's that backup camera in full view there. Lots of settings in here for machine settings, blade speed, response, auto carry, load factor, custom by direction. You can set your own custom speeds in there as well too. Auto shift, fan purge, lots of good things that you can do in here to customize this uh, machine, make it just exactly what you're looking for and uh, the most comfortable it is for the operator. So let me also show you a little bit about our new 3D grade control monitor as well too down here. So this is the cat grade with 3D monitor. Um, simple to operate, you know, easy to use. Two fingers lets you swipe between screens. Click and hold to edit a screen. Uh, make it to, you know, whichever of the different views that you want. Uh, click on the different menu buttons. Lots of menus you can go into here to customize this the way you want to. I happen to have this set on our uh, depth and slope system. And so I can very quickly make a 2D design plane just by benching my heading and then also by benching my elevation wherever my blade sits. And it simply creates a nice flat uh, design for me. And then I can also change the slope of that design here, level or type in a particular target percentage that I want for that slope. So really cool in terms of the, uh, the, the technology and the great control systems. So that will wrap it up on the all new D5 Dozer from Caterpillar. Uh, be sure to let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, what do you think about the new nomenclature change? What do you think about all these technology features in that 10 inch touch screen display? Let us know your thoughts below. And if you want more videos on construction equipment, work trucks, and pickup trucks, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and sign up for notifications so you're getting up to the minute alerts 
whenever we drop a new video. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.